I'm going to be doing this super fun Easter makeup tutorial. Um, I do, I think, an Easter video every year. I don't know if I did one last year, but I've been doing them for quite some time, and I thought I would do one this year. It's a very simple look. Um, I This is not exactly like how I wanted it to come out, but it did come out pretty cool. I originally wanted it to be like a yellow eyeshadow eye, but all the eye, yellow eyeshadows that I was using weren't really working very well. So I just went in with like a little bit of a pink and then some white. You can still see the yellow the way I turn my head. You can still see a little bit of yellow undertones. And then underneath I did a blue eyeshadow uh, um, under waterline thing. I'm not sure what it's called. And then I just paired it with this, a pink purple toned lip. And yeah, so I hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial and let's just get on into the video. So the first thing I'm going to be taking is my Urban Decay Naked Foundation and my Beauty Sponge and just applying this all over my face. And then for my concealer, I'm taking this Maybelline concealer stick and just applying it underneath my eyes and on my forehead and just blending it out as well with the beauty sponge. And to set all my foundation and concealer, I'm going to be going in with my Dermablend Loose Powder and just applying this all over my face. And to contour my face, I'm going to be taking my Hoola Benefit Bronzer and just applying that to my cheekbones, my temples, my nose, and just blending it out. For my blush, I'm going to be taking my Pandora's Box blush and just applying it to the apples of my cheeks. And for my highlighter, I'm going to be taking my Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminate and just applying that to my cheeks, my nose, and underneath my brows. Next, I'm just going to be filling in my brows. And then starting off with the eyeshadow, I'm just going to be going in with the yellow shade. And you can just use any yellow shade that you can find. I was just looking through my drawers and just finding whatever color that would somewhat work. So I just found like this random loose shadow. And it didn't come out the way I wanted to. It's like kind of like a highlight color. It's like very white. But you could still see a little bit of yellow tones in there. And 
And then after that, I'm just going to go in with a blue shade from the LA Colors Tease palette. You could just use any blue shade. It doesn't have to be this palette because I don't know if you can even find this palette because this palette was from the dollar store. But <laughs> the colors were really nice in it. So I'm just taking that blue and just applying it to my waterline. I didn't like the yellow and how it looked on my eye. I'm just going in with a pink shade and it's in the same palette as the LA Colors palette. I would just go in with just any kind of pink shade you can find and I just started blending it into the yellow until I got the color I desired. And then I'm going to go in with that same brush we used for our waterline and just start taking the blue shade and start drawing a little eye-lined eyeshadow mark on top of my eye so it kind of blends all the color together. And we're still going to be lining this with regular liner too, but I just thought that it gave a great contrast between the two colors. And just to finish off the eyeshadow look, I'm just going to go in with a white shade and just apply it to my inner corner. And this just definitely adds a little bit of highlight to it and it just looks super glam. And now we're just going to go in with a black eyeliner and I'm just winging out my eyeliner. And this kind of covers up that blue mark that we did before. But if you turn your head certain ways, so you can still see the blue underneath, which I think is super cute. And for my lashes, I'm going to be taking my Ardell Glamour Lashes and just applying them to the waterline where we just lined our lashes with. And then after that, I'm going to be taking my eyelash curler and then applying some mascara. And lastly, I'm just going to be going in with the Starlux lip gloss and just applying that all over my lips. y'all enjoyed that video if you guys did make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up and comment down below on what other kind of videos you want to see from me and also make sure you guys go follow me on instagram and twitter at cjwalker735 and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to be notified every time i post a new video and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys real soon bye